Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, as you guess, we're back at it. You guys can see us out in the backyard again. Don't have that much. When you think about it, your back, it's a lot, but it's not really that much. But we are going to get going on the pile out front because I'm delivering another load to my buddy Dean and his buddy LT. So I'm going to try to pick up. A fairly good amount of uh, sand this time because what LT is doing is he's filling in the ruts in his alleyway and if I would have known that the first time I would take more so hey that's kind of my fault too I forgot to tell you that you're dropping any off so we kind of had very little time to fill the truck so first on the agenda is to load the truck from the pile in the front because it's right there and it's easy um, the second thing we're doing today is those bad boys are hopefully going to get filled up today. We're going to go pick up a couple loads. I'm hoping at least two, maybe three loads of compost from the farm. Once we get those filled up, then hopefully some of these can actually get into it. Because they're spending way too much time in these little seedling pots and they're not looking so hot. Um, I also got a feeling we're going to have to start more because some of them are not looking so hot. And we didn't plant all that we needed to begin with. But we didn't get all the varieties we wanted planted. We also didn't get um, okra. We didn't get everything we wanted planted. Yeah, we just didn't get all the stuff we wanted. So, I mean, we don't have carrots, obviously, or root, root crops. We're not going to plant those on a seedling tray. Um, radishes. Um, I don't think we got beets. I'm not a big beet person, so. No. <laughs> but you wouldn't want to do those either. But uh, we do definitely want to get these boxes filled up because I want to get some carrots in the ground. I think we might do a couple of radishes, some onions, and then I know I want to do herbs, and we have quite a bit of herbs. And maybe, just maybe, we'll work on getting some corn planted along the fence like our plan had been because that can go in the ground now, too. Yeah, we wanted to do down this stretch. We wanted to do sweet corn, I believe. And then along that stretch of fence, we were going to do the popcorn uh, corn. And hopefully they don't cross pollinate. But for us to do that, we have to dig out some of the side along both fences. So uh, that's going to be a project I have too. So without making this any longer, we're just going to go ahead probably jump into a time lapse of loading the sand into the truck and we'll go from there. So guys, we definitely took a nice dent out of what we had here in this pile, but there's probably at least three more loads of sand, I'd say, that need to get taken out between what's in the back and in the front. We filled up the truck pretty good. Um, don't want to overload it and have the truck end up having an issue because of it. So Mike is going to bring this to our buddy's place so he can drop it, gets it out of our driveway. So that's a plus, but he's going to go do that. And when he gets back, I don't know if we'll have time to load another load of sand or if I'm going to be taking the truck to go get the compost. So we'll see how that all goes.
Well guys, we got two loads of compost from the farm and we've moved it all back here. Basically two loads to about half full pickup loads of that compost filled up these three boxes. That's it. We got to at least get probably two more loads. I might be going back to get another load today, um, even if it goes in our driveway for now. But for right now, we're going to work on getting some herbs and some of these plants into these boxes like we were talking about. So, we're going to go ahead and start planting. guys so as you could probably tell it is a different day uh we stopped recording last night because it was getting a little dark and it started raining on us so we had to stop for the day but we did get out it's oh. still fairly early we've been out we went out for a little bit but it's about 9 30 but we did get all the boxes done and we did get some work up front which i don't know if we're gonna go out there and show them or not <laughs> We, I can show it later in the next video. But I do want to show you guys the boxes because you guys saw us working on them. So we're going to go through and kind of show you guys what we did. What is that? Garbage. Why does it look like dogs been in here again? Because they have. I was say it does look like it because... Alright guys, so we're going to retry this. The dog got into all three garden beds, so I'd say at least half of our plants are gone or destroyed. So we just reseeded some of it. I don't know about the seeds that we planted yesterday. I don't know if they're still there. It's kind of one of those things where we're just going to see what germinates and populates and 
we try to fill in the gaps with what we can. Um, mints, we're, we're completely out of mint seeds, so mints just not going to happen unless we go buy some plants this year. Unless we can find some seeds, but mints probably going to have to get bought now. Uh, a lot of other stuff, like I'll turn you guys around and show you guys. You guys can kind of see like, uh, we got parsley over here, basil, and then one sage plant. We planted two more. Don't know if seeds are even there, but you can see she basically destroyed. Parsley's pretty well destroyed. Uh, the second row was chives, gone. We had plants there I transplanted. Um, Time up front here. Those are just mini plants to begin with. Those are, yeah, you can see one still there. That one's kind of trampled into the ground. Uh, lemon balm's gone. I think we had one. No, that was all seeds, too. Uh, dill's over in the corner. Who knows what's there? Uh, down here was cumin. Uh, down this one is okra. That's where radishes are. And then the radishes start here. Again, don't know if they're even there anymore. And there were also flowers planted into the center here. All that could be mixed in too, so that kind of screws that up too. This was habaneros. There were plants here. Again, not there anymore. Except for that one. That's we're assuming is a habanero. It was a planted on this other half where there was nothing planted originally. Looks like there's something there. Don't know what that is. That could be a habanero because there was nothing there either. Like, I don't know how magically things got planted that were not planted. I, I don't so know. So we got, over here was seeds, a bunch of carrots. Don't know if they're there. Onions. I know there's at least three because I found, you can see one of the yellow onions there. Somewhere in this direction is two reds that I had to replant. I don't know where I put them. Um, yeah, I don't know because over here is green onions. There's a red there somewhere. Uh, the tomato tillos are gone. Besides three of them, that one looks pretty Look. bad. Yeah, we have these still. That one's I don't know if it's even gonna make it. That one's still there, and these are gone. You can actually see the remnants of the pot. And a broken up plant. So, don't know if those are going to be around. Uh, over in this bed was basically jalapenos and tomatoes. So and sweet peppers. So sweet peppers are over here. We're still finding stuff. So we have sweet peppers. Um, sweet peppers. These are cherry tomatoes, which look okay I think that one's a cherry tomato too yeah I think so if the tag's gone so I don't know for sure we did a row of seeds of cilantro here hopefully they're still there and then we got our regular tomatoes I believe we did beef steaks yes so these should be beef steak tomatoes and then you can't see because of the shade but there's jalapenos and that one's kind of tipped over still looks okay it should spring back hopefully but this bed is the one that's the least destroyed uh we pulled boxes out where you're replanting some of the stuff some of the stuff we're just gonna have to wait and see because there was seeds and you guys can't even see my face because of the lighting but whatever you don't need to see my ugly mug but we did pull out the seed boxes. You guys can see them over here. And some of the stuff we got replanted. Some of the stuff, like I said, we just gotta wait and see because they were seeds. So we guys see if it germinates and what germinates where because nothing's where it's supposed to be now. Yeah, our whole box could be completely destroyed. <laughs> it just sucks that like we had so many plants that we were hoping would start taking off and we'd get, we'd actually start getting some stuff over the next couple of weeks, hopefully. And now we're starting from ground zero again. So we're back to seeds. Uh, we do got some tomato plants and some jalapeno plants, which is good because we use a lot of it. So it's good that we still have those around. Um, 
I'm not hugely disappointed in the habaneros, but they have been nice to have. She... I'm disappointed because I like our salsa with habanero in it. <laughs> but... I'm pretty upset about the herbs. So she is no longer going to be outside by herself. Because she can't behave. But, uh, Crystal's probably going to show you guys the front in a different video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick outro. Because like I said, yesterday it got dark and started raining on us. So we had to quit. But, I got one load of sand out. We got three loads of dirt. And... All three boxes were complete. Fair chunk of plants. Now they're seeds. So I will go ahead and wrap this video up. So hopefully it's not too long. Um, hopefully you guys are having a better day. Um, I will catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully again, like I said, you guys are having a better day. Make sure you guys love each other and your friends and neighbors because everybody needs a love.